Let's let's go ahead and flip over to a team that actually has been winning and won four in a row, which is weird as hell to even say that. But damn, it's about time. We needed. This. Damn, it's about time. They bro. all did what, what we said on last show. We said three out of four is what we needed, and they said, "Oh, hold my beer, hold my beer." And yeah, they went four for four. Wild. Break it down. Who we beat over those four game stretch? We had a nice little four game stretch there. We had some impressive victories. Uh, one of them was on the road. I think that's the first one. Hold on. I'm trying to bring it up here. My computer froze. All right, cool. <laughs> but I got you. No, we beat the Pacers on the road on Friday night, right? Uh, 87 to 82. And that game was dope because, you know, just a, a hard fought road victory. You know, we hadn't had that many victories on the road this year. And Indiana is always a tough place for us to play. That game in itself, um, bam was balling out and, and really, keeping the pressure alive, uh, you know, and, and Jimmy closed the game, was able to close the game out on the road. But I felt like... Low scoring. It, and but that's by the way, basketball. You said, you said last Friday. This was actually last Monday when, Monday we, were when we were recording against the Pacers on the road. Um, low scoring. I think that was our lowest scoring game of the season. Also, our lowest holding, you know, holding up our opponents to their lowest score at 82. But weird. It was a weird uh, game. It was tough. It just got tough because it, it got into a defensive matchup. That's what happened, you know. And usually when we pay the places, the pay... Play the pace is so sure. hard to say that. Um, say it three it's, times fast. It's, yeah, right. Uh, it's usually a defensive matchup. You know what I mean? Those go- games have always been historically low scoring games when we face these guys. And, you know, that was old school heat basketball we saw. You didn't have anybody really blow up offensively. It was just a matter of who's going to execute better on offense in the stretch. And ultimately, we did because we ended up winning the, actually the fourth quarter and the second half. Um, just nice, man, to see the, the heat. Win on the road, right? Provide pizza mañana, which we've been in desperate need of, and and kind of kick something off. And they did, bro. It's, that that hard fought win did something to this team. It's Jimmy, dog. It is. I, I, it's Jimmy. Is it? Oh, I mean, we're gonna get to it now. There's a lot, but man, there's a difference. This team is. There's a difference on this team when Jimmy's on the court versus when he's off the court, bro. We can no, look at, we, can sure. look at the, we can look at the win loss totals with them versus without. I, I'm I'm sure it's better with them than it is without. But it, it it just opens up other guys like Hero, yeah. But to look, ball, like Bam to do more into the paint, and, and and you know what I mean. Like it helps him out to have. Like Jimmy adds a lot, man. No, his presence is always felt right because he's such a clutch player, such a uh, you know. I, I want to say well rounded, but that's not the the. It doesn't give us he enough. Well rounded, yeah. But what I'm saying is like Versatile. he's so willing. He's so willing to defend. Selfless. He's so willing to be the guy to take the charge. He's so willing to be the guy to say something to pass the rock to an open guy. You know, and that shit goes a long way, man. Especially when you have a team full of guys who are coming up, finding their games, finding their mojo, finding their lanes in the NBA, right? How to be successful. And and that definitely helps helps this team. And I think we saw it in, in, in the hero effect, right? In that game against Indiana, he was terrible. He was terrible that game, right? And then he, I think he ended up with like nine points that game. And then he comes back, bounces back against the Thunder and puts up, what, 39 points? Tied a record of nine threes, career high. Yeah, he went. He had eight points against the Pacers. Eight points, and then follows that up with a with a career high. You know, I think no, I think he went on that Wednesday because then the next game after the Pacers game was Wednesday against the Thunder. He it had blew up thirty nine or thirty five. 35, 35, 35, 35. He puts up 35. And then he put up 41. And Nine then, threes. Exactly, exactly. So on Wednesday against Oklahoma City where we won, Hero was a big part of it. 35 points, uh, huge. That's the thing that, that might have been almost a career high for him that night. And then the next night breaks that. He goes 41. over 40. He drops 41. Wow, and, hitting 10 three-pointers. Amazing, bro. That's what we need from him. It's, it's but, but, but and that if was we're, game, and that, if we're that, fair, the 35 point game was the one where he needed to do that because he had no Jimmy that game. Nope. And that's that's what I'm talking about. Like his willingness to step up and say, I can do this. Whether Jimmy's here, whether Bam is on or off, doesn't matter. I'm going to come in and I'm going to perform. Uh, you know, he's been really. I don't want to say the brightest spot on offense, but he's been a, a, a 1B, right? Because I think the brightest spot this year on offense has been Bam, and we'll talk about it in a little bit. But, you know, this dude is averaging, you know, 26 points per game. You know, average uh, in this four-game winning streak, he averaged 26.3 points per game, 48.5% from free, from the field goal, and shot uh, 24 threes, shooting 50%. Damn. Impressive. That's, that's the most impactful. impressive stat line for me right there. Impactful. Right, being impactful. That's efficient. That's but what I'm saying is that like 
even because those other t- the other game that he did the forty one points, Jimmy was playing that game. That was, so that's against the Rockets where we won one eleven one. And we needed him to hit big shots in that game because Houston that Houston game was close down the stretch. You know, I'm watching it and I'm thinking, shit, we're gonna waste this game where Tyler Hero's going off, right? And we're gonna lose this game in the fourth quarter. But bounce back heat, something that we saw a lot last year, hadn't seen at all this year, come from having a horrible third quarter where we give up 33 points to bouncing back in the fourth quarter, getting the lead back, and keeping it in order to win the game. And that was a weird game because we, we didn't have Bam that game, and guess who we started instead? Who, who Go ahead, tell the people. UD. Yeah. We started to Udonis Haslam. Like, what's the like last his time? third start this year? <laughs> but, Crazy. You know what I mean? So, like, we need we needed something, you know? And, and Jimmy puts up 20. Caleb had uh, 13. UD had zero. But but Hero, Hero put up 41, man. And that, that really took us over the top. Um, bro, somebody else I got to give a shout out to, man. Um, Oladipo. He's yeah. come back. We've given him a okay. lot of grief. You know, we didn't know if we were going to see him. He's playing high. Right. He's, he's, he's actually making a pretty good impact. I mean, not good impact, but he's he's. Getting himself back in the groove of things, and you can see it fair. progressing. He's all right, and that's fair. It could be worse. It could be way worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. He's I guess, contributing already, bro, defensively he, and on offense. But it's about time because he's got to look at the other people contributing. The 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 Especially the main guy contributing from that bench or six-man rule, whatever you want to call it, which has been Caleb Martin. And we shot at him out last week. Oh, he's a starter, though. He's, Is he really a six-man? Yeah, because he doesn't necessarily play starter minutes like that. You know what I mean? But he just starts there kind of like that uh, in a lesser role that P.J. Tucker was providing for us. But my point being with, with Caleb, he knows what's expected of him. He comes out here and he outperforms that. Victor has to be outperforming what our, what we're expecting, right? If his expectancy is to say, all right, man, come in, handle the rock, maybe get six to six to eight points a game and go from there. He And he comes in and gives us 12, 10, 14 points, 15, 12. That's, you know, that's when you get noticed. Right now, he's just doing all right. And that's okay. That's fair to say for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it, it acknowledges that he's making that effort. But he does have to step it up. Because the, there's other guys around him stepping it up. Right. You know, we burned Kyle, and he's been playing more consistently of late. Mm-hmm. Not enough to raise eyebrows and be like, wow, look at Kyle Lowry. But enough to be like, all right, cuz, keep going. I see you. You're helping us win. Keep going. And we need that. So we didn't have Kyle on uh, on Saturday against the Spurs when we won one eleven right. one hundred one. Which that game was in Mexico City, which was yeah, pretty cool. That was dope. Yeah. Uh, why? Why? I know that they do stuff, you know, internationally, kind of like the NFL does. That's what they're doing, baby. But, like, Spread the game. They're going to do that more regularly and stuff. Yeah, now? yeah. I think I think they had a game earlier this year too, where they had uh, Golden State go down there, which is obviously smart. You know, you have one of the world's most popular player, and you have him go down there into a market which loves basketball and breathes NBA basketball. I mean, like if you watch that game against the Spurs, all you heard was cheering the whole game, right? Because the Heat fans were like, Heat would score, and everybody was like, yeah, Spurs would score, and he was like, yeah, and it was just like everybody was happy because just- whoever you were rooting for was winning <laughs> right they were just happy to be they were there. just happy you know and it's dope uh for them to expand the game like that but interesting enough like we we look at that game you know and jimmy played a big part of it our big three all had over 20 points each game shit that we did see last year everybody contributing things that we hadn't seen this year people contributing together 22 for bam 26 for jimmy 21 for hero you know, and, and look, and throw in another twelve from uh, Struess and Robinson. Yeah, bro, and 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 you know, I, I want to switch it a little bit to what Bam's been providing. This dude's averaging twenty points a game, nine and a, nine point eight rebounds a game. Love that, fifty two percent from the field while he's shooting more. Over 50% well, while he's, he's, he's shooting more. He's being more aggressive and getting to the paint. And, right. Or getting in the paint and getting to the rim more. And look, and even in his last 10 games, averaging 21 points per game, 10.6 rebounds, and 3.4 assists. That's why I said he's been our, our best offensive yeah, player. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Because he's been the threat. He's been the guy saying, yo, I need the rock. I need to put up my seven, 16 to 18 shots. And we've seen that. As long as he's consistently hitting that, he's going to have 20 point games like this. In November, he had seven. Seven games where he put up 20 points. This month in December, he already has five. Got another six games to go. And and the way he's progressing and the way that he's trending offensively, continuing to be aggressive, continuing to say, let me be the main guy until so it's time to give the ball to Jimmy or it's time to give the ball to Hero, right? And they take it from me, <laughs> pretty much. 
then I'm going to be my guy. I'm going to be that dude, and I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to go up and get dunks and get free throws. And that's the guy that we wanted Bam to be because now he's averaging the 20 points a game, and nobody's saying shit about him scoring, right? Nobody's burning Bam. Well, Even when we're winning. Just, it wasn't just that. It was 20 and 10. We need Bam to be 20 and 10. But he's been doing it, now and we haven't in. been winning, and nobody's been, like, even really shouting him out. We, you, you and I both know we haven't seen that buzz around the heat like that, right? Because even though we have individual pieces that may be doing well, the collective isn't there, right? And that's the same thing with the Dolphins' defense. Now we're starting to see the collective be there because all of the pieces are contributing. So now it's easy to notice Bam and be like, damn, this guy's really balling out here. You know, and the fact that that we were able to win four games straight to put us not only at 500, above 500, currently 16 and 15 on the season, finally into like a real threat of of playoff positioning, right? Being seventh in the East. Do you remember where we were last week when we did the show? How crazy it is in one week in the NBA. But that's what we were the 11th seed. Mm -hmm. Now we're the seventh seed. That's what a winning streak does, bro. And this is uh, and this is our first three game winning streak of the year. Of the year. Last year, we had at least five or six of them, right? Where we won three games st- straight. That's that's a very important yeah, well, thing no, to do. I think, we, we made, I think our longest streak was five games. We never made it over that hump. We maybe. never made it over five. But still, it's, it's what you and I really harp on when it comes to these teams. It's okay for you to lose one game in a row. It's okay for you to lose two games in a row. But don't turn those negatives into streaks. Turn the positive into streaks. Win three games in a row, four games in a row. Lose one, win another two, three, lose two, win another three, four. And that's how you make the season easier for you as far as piling up the wins to help your positioning in the in the standings. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, that's why we look at the Heat and be like, yo, I can't believe that this is our first, like, three-game win streak, four-game win streak this year because we have the talent to be better than this or at least do this consistently. Well, here's the interesting part. You got number nine right now in the standings are the Pacers. Yeah. Number 11 in the standings are the Bulls. We play the Pacers and the Bulls this week. And we're only two and a half back against the teams that are in front of us, which are tied for fifth and sixth. That's Philadelphia and the New York Knicks. Teams that we can theoretically compete with and or beat. Yep. Right? No doubt. Same thing with the Pacers. Same thing with, with, with Chicago. We can be competitive with those teams because we've seen it in, in certain stances. But we just need the Heat to be more consistent when it comes to how they play and how they close out games. Notice notice that in every game that we've won, we've won the fourth quarter yeah, in this well, four-game win streak. Well, we've always said that's the difference. When the, the Heat are going out there and they're losing games, it's usually because they're not closing out. You know, we, right. We've always been a good second-half team you know, when yeah. we're winning. When we're not, it's because of the fact we're coming out there and we're letting them dominate us. Um, but these next two, man, we got so we got the Heat tonight playing the Bulls. Um, we're at home this game and the next game, which would be well, Tuesday that, that you're listening to the recording. Right, that's what I meant. Right, the people know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but just in case. Um, and uh, then, then we play the Pacers on Friday um, at home again. Before we go on a couple of tough games, we got we got a West Coast game and then we got a road trip. I mean, we got. We got we got some games here we need to win. Is it impossible to go above five games in a, in a row? I don't think it is. And this is the reason why, for me, the fact that these next five games are going to be so spaced out, right? We play the 20th, and then we don't play again for three days on the 23rd. Right before Christmas, no Christmas Day game, no so a free Christmas Day weekend. We play the 26th. Play again until the 26th, and then a, two days later versus the Lakers, still at home, right? Before you hit the road and go to Denver. Right in another two days, we so have, we have some good space in between those long games. Road trip, five games after that. That's okay road. though. That's okay because if we get a good streak now with this home stand that we have, right? Home against Chicago, home against the Pacers, home against Minnesota next week, home against the Lakers next week. That's four games that we can theoretically go three and one. And now you're just talking about adding another three wins, right? Being 19 and 16 on the season, creating some more space, gaining some momentum before you go hit the road. Yeah. That's what the, he needs to do because this was this is what they were doing last year, bro. They were taking advantage of being at home, winning three, four, five games at home or three games at home and saying, all right, time to hit the road. Let's hope that we go 500. And that's okay. That's going to equal success. Sure. And you're giving your chance to be in that top four area where, where we want to be. Got to make it happen, dog. That game against the Bulls is winnable. That game against the Pacers is winnable. Minnesota, winnable. The Lakers haven't been shit this year. Winnable game. 
Let's let's make home court feel like home court, dog. And I hope the people show. I mean, I'm pretty sure the people are going to be packing the the arena for these next four games because people have time off, you know, holidays. People are gifting tickets or whatever. But I want that arena to be packed. I want that arena to be rocking, dog. You know, and winning is what brings that brings that energy because we like to win down here. And the Heat are used to winning, and Heat fans are used to winning, so they're gonna have to pull something up. I, I don't know what it is. Hopefully, we can continue to see Bam ball out, right? I just mentioned five games already with 20 points or more in December. Six games left to give him the ball. Feed that man. Let, let guys feed off of him. Let Hero build off of him. Let Jimmy close out the game off of him. Let Lowry be able to find those guys. You know what I mean? Allow a guy like Caleb Martin and Victor Oladipo and even Duncan because Duncan had a good game against the Spurs and had a good game against Houston. Let these guys build that momentum off the guys who are really leading this team. Let's 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 be led by Bam, dog, because he's he's really doing it right now, man. He really is. Let's see, man. 